You shouldn't be buying flash drives in 2023. I'm going to show you why. Welcome back to my channel. So what I'm going to do in this video, let me set this up. You shouldn't be buying flash drives in 2023. I'm going to show you why. First of all, what I'm going to do is, you know, these little flash drives, just like this one right here, this one's 256 gigabytes. They become really cheap. I'm going to show you my screen over here. This one's about 28 bucks. And this little teeny footprint, 256 gigabytes is pretty good for 28 bucks, right? You would think that, but don't buy this. I'm going to show you how to basically make something like this for about the same cost, exactly, I think it's 28 or 29 bucks with an M.2 drive in it. And for, you know, that's gonna basically blow this other thing away over here. This thing says it's rated for about 400 megabytes per second. It's not. This thing over here pretty much is. And I'm gonna show you the time difference. I'm gonna give you, so to set the video up, I'm gonna show you moving 3.6 gigabytes on this little thing here versus this big thing over here and show you the major difference of this and how long it takes. And also then just show you kind of, you know, why I chose this because basically what this comes down to is this is actually an M.2 SATA enclosure. It's not even an NVMe and there's a reason I chose this. Number one is so I could get the cost around that 28 bucks. The SATA M.2s are a little bit uh, cheaper right now and so is the enclosure. But number two, SATA runs a lot cooler, right? And if I'm using a cheap enclosure like this, I definitely wanna make sure that the drive's not running too hot like an NVMe drive runs. So that's another reason to use SATA. I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, it's not as fast, it's not as good, and it's not. But I'm gonna show you just proving it when I show you this versus this, that if you're just moving data for backup and storage, this is gonna be plenty for most people, and I'll prove it to you. And then I'm gonna to prove to you exactly what I put in here just to prove that it was a 28 bucks. Here's what I bought over here. This is basically the SSK aluminum. It's an aluminum enclosure. And basically here it is right here. There's an aluminum sleeve that slips onto this. And I'll show you some close-ups as I'm talking about it. And it's super easy. It literally, you have to slide the drive in here. You basically put the aluminum piece on it and there's one little screw that you screw in and it's done. The cable here comes with basically, it's a cable that goes to USB-A on the end here, but it also has a dongle that actually goes USB-A to USB-C. Sorry, I'm picking up the wrong thing. That's actually right here. Here. And so it can you can plug into USB-C and USB-A and it's only 12 bucks You can see in the screen over here So I picked one of the cheapest ones you can get but I know this company SSK and they're actually really good for for what you get for the money And then so that's that's that and that's gonna be basically a SATA. That's the key there. You have to get it SATA um, And then beyond that, let me just get a little bit more into it So the drive slides in here There's nothing even to basically screw in once you put the drive in and you don't even need to put a heat sink on this Because of the fact that it's a SATA drive. It doesn't get that hot um, compared to the NVMe drives. All right, so that's 11, 12 bucks. And then for the drive, what I did is I used, I'll show you close-ups, but it's kind of time tech. It's a, it's a drive that I found a while ago. They're $16.99 for 256 gigabytes. So in, 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 if you look at the reviews here, it's basically gonna be, I think it's like a 4.7. So a lot of people like this drive. Very inexpensive, $16.99. The edit's at $11.99, right there at the 28 or 29 bucks. So it's gonna be the exact same cost as this little flash drive for 256 gigs of storage, right? So let's put these things head to head and show you the differences here and show you how much this thing blows the other one away and uh, why you would never want to buy a flash drive again. All right, so when you put the drive in the first time, you're going to get this screen. Click initialize right there. And basically what's going to happen is you want to make absolutely sure you don't select your main drive. You're going to erase anything you select here. So make sure you select the SSK Media. That's going to be the name of this device, this, this aluminum enclosure. Select that and make sure it says the 256 gigabytes, the, the drive that we just had. Then you want to click erase right here. And then next, you just basically can leave it as, well, first of all, let's just name it something that we can recognize here. But beyond that, we want to make sure the format is APFS and then GUID partition map right there. Then click erase. You can click right there. It's going to go ahead and erase the disk. Again, you do not want to erase your main drive here. And then you're done, basically. And this is how you format the drive for a Mac. All right, so now that we have the drive, I want to show you how fast we can move a file over. So look at the size of this file that I'm going to be moving to this new drive I just created. It's 3.6 gigabytes, so it's a pretty substantial file. You can see it right there. Let's go ahead and move this over to the new drive we just created. And let's see how long this takes. We're going to wait a couple seconds before the screen comes up. There it goes. It's taking takes about, you know, a little bit less than 10 seconds, I would say, maybe eight or nine seconds. And there you go, it's done. So there's a speed test on the drive we just created. Now let's see how that flash drive, how long that takes.
All right, now we have the flash drive. This is the Samsung drive. I told you that's the same cost, but it's dirt slow. It says it's rated at 400 megabytes per second, but let's go ahead and see what this really is. I'm not even gonna let this go. So let's just let this thing come up here. You can see that it's at 134 megabytes of 3.6. So it's gonna go a lot slower. It says it's about two to two and a half minutes here two minutes or so versus the eight or 10 seconds on the other one. So I'm not gonna let this go too much further because I think the point is proven that it's gonna take probably 20 or 30 times as long. All right, so what I wanna just show you is just the speed of the drive here. We're gonna do a quick speed test. Now again, this is SATA, it has to go through the enclosure. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the right drive here. Now keep in mind that the enclosure and all the cables do give it some overhead. So while this drive is rated at like 500 megabytes per second, we're gonna go ahead and select the drive right here and then I'm gonna open it up. But you're gonna see it's gonna be slower. Watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and do a test here and you're gonna get, let's just see in the rights, about 300 and close to 340, 350 on the rights. And then on the reads, I'm guessing somewhere close, about 300. And 37. So you can see right there that it's not going to be the fastest um, as far as the drive's concerned, and but it doesn't matter. You saw the difference there. So for basic storage, it's really, really fast. All right, so basically you saw what I did here. I just basically built this. You can build it super quickly. I mean, I didn't show you how, but it, it literally just takes, you slide the drive in, you stick on the aluminum part and you put one screw in, you go ahead and you initialize it, you format it and it works. Now, the reason I use SATA again versus an NVMe drive is because it runs cooler and it's cheaper right now. And I'm just using this for just basic storage, like something where I'm not relying so much on the speed, but it's way faster than a flash drive that I just showed you. And then hey, there's some other ones I wanted to show you up here, like this team group one here. Here. It's $27.99, you can see it on my screen, and that's basically gonna be 512 gigabytes, so if you wanna make this bigger than 256, hey, what is it, it's, it's just $27.99 plus the enclosure for $11.99. And you can even get some better deals here like the Silicon Power one. This is SATA also. It's an M.2 SSD SATA, 512 gigabytes, only $22.99. So if I went with this route, $22.99 plus the $11.99, that comes out to like 34, 35 bucks for 512 gigabytes. And you can see how that's gonna make a lot of sense to you if you want an external storage. All right, so let's wrap this up. So I like to make these videos because a lot of people are afraid to kind of put parts together because they don't know they don't know if they're gonna work or not. So I'm gonna have the parts list in the description if you like this, plus these other drives I showed you, one's 512 gigabytes for 30 something bucks with the enclosure. You can get that much storage and build it yourself. You get the enjoyment out of kind of building things yourself and also knowing exactly the parts that you have in here. You can also reuse the enclosure if there's a failure, unlike the ones you buy. But at the end of the day, you just do not wanna buy these little flash things. You can see that it takes 10 or 20 times as long to move data on those things. And if they break, they break for good. You don't have, you know, you can't remove the drive and just put a new one in. So I just, you know, try things out. Always try different things. You can return them on Amazon. I'll have links to this again in the description if you want to try them out. But I hope this helps people out just showing you why you don't buy flash drives anymore. Just say no to them. If you get them for free, that's okay. But uh, you don't spend any of your good hard-earned money on them because they're just too slow right now in 2023. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.